the stuff they pulled off the walls. Let's take a look. Here's the place uh, with all the the walls pulled off. Tim and Tucker worked uh, two days and uh, cleaned out the place. That's where the bedroom used to be. Um, we're going to start next week in a new building. I say it's going to take about three weeks. Three weeks and I guess 10 to 15. We'll be back in business. We're going to leave this open from the grand room here. Leave the kitchen open, build a wall back here for the bedroom. Put a door there. Remove this door here. Make this a solid wall. And uh, he'll go into the bathroom from the bedroom. Prepared floor, of course. Maybe put more windows down this wall. Let's go take a look at uh, what survived in the garage. This is what I pulled out. I think the table may have survived. Dishes, that sort of thing. Some furniture. We'll be back in three weeks. What is it, about um, four weeks, I think, since the fire? This is week four. Week four. Today we're working on the doors. You get a, this patina here, you can tell, uh, get an indication of the heat that uh, was at the ceiling. It's kind of amazing how heat rises. Bubbly up there, nothing down there. Of course, there's water damage, like everywhere. But uh, working with Tim and his crew, the hippie carpenters from... New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, about four different states. States. Why don't you come on in, see how we're making progress inside. Tim and the crew, they've been working for about two and a half weeks, I guess. Maybe not quite, two weeks. As you can see, they've got the insulation in. They took out these collar ties that were up further in the ceiling, and they added these three beams. I think I'm going to probably leave it like it is. What do you think, Eric? I think it's be all right just the way it is. Body. No, I think I can get used to it. Um, again, they framed out the new wall here with the door. Ground zero on the fire. And up there you can still see an evidence of... One, uh, one advantage of burning down your house is you get the opportunity to do some... Uh, some Improvements and we're going to put four new windows here. I think that would be very nice. Get a lot of light that we never really had on this wall. So we're making progress. We hope to be in in two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So check back with us. Thank you. Okay, this is the first weekend we stay here. Check out the bedroom. Pillows. A bed. Boobs bed. Rainy day. Closet. Nice line. Pink. Pink bathroom. Toilet's still grungy. There's mom in the kitchen. New kitchen. Living room. Dining room is back. B doesn't like the open room effect. She wants to have a screen. Hmm. She thinks the windows look like a dormitory. But she likes the window in the kitchen. And she loves the bedroom. And pink. 
You don't pee pee in the uh, Tupperware boobs. Yeah. Boobs! Don't pee pee in the Tupperware. Okay, as we go to our normal life after the fire, yeah. you'll notice the teapot that was burned up is now being used by a happy family to drink some tea. Have a tea, have a tea, boobs, and give mama the cheers. Cheers! Yeah! Oh!